or in the classified section. So if you have a motorcycle and you want to sell it, then you need to contact the newspaper and say, you know, I'd like to put a want ad in your newspaper. And then the newspaper will say, okay, how big of a want ad do you want? What size, how many words, stuff like that. And they will charge you a fee to put it in. All right. Okay, so these are the classifieds and the classifieds are full of want ads. All right, so let's take a look at a few want ads a little bit more closely. All right, so let's take a look at this 2001 Honda Civic. All right, I'll put a red line around it so it's easy to see. So the want ad is for a 2001 Honda Civic. And it says 182K. Hmm, new AC alternator and tires. $1,100 OBO and then the phone number 262-534-5777. All right. Ooh, I see Garden is in the comments. Hello and welcome. All right. So right now we are taking a look at a want ad from the classified section of a newspaper. Okay. So it says 2001 Honda Civic. Well, the first thing we can do is we can probably find a picture of a 2001 Honda Civic. And this is what the person is selling. Okay, so this is, you know, 2001, 18 years ago. <laughs> so this is the car that they were selling. And let's take go back. Okay, so the person wants to sell uh, their car. And it's in the automobile section of the classifieds in the newspaper. Right. So it says 182K. Well, 182K means uh, 182,000 miles, all right? Since this is probably in the US, we use miles. If it was in another country, it would probably be 182,000 uh, kilometers, right? So here we go, it says new AC. Well, AC just stands for air conditioning or air conditioning unit or air conditioner, all right? There's an alternator, which is a part of the the engine, the alternator and tires. It says $1,100 or $1,100 OBO. Hmm, I wonder what OBO means. OBO. If you see OBO in the classified section of a newspaper, it means or best offer. All right, so uh, let's say your asking price is $1,100, but you put or best offer. So people know that you don't expect to actually get $1,100. So they might say, okay, I like your car. It looks nice. I'll give you $800 or I'll give you $700 or something like that. Ah, Olga Svetova says, hello, 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 and welcome. All right, so right now we're just going over uh, one of the want ads in the classified section of the newspaper, right? And we're going to get into some amusing ones in a moment. But basically, to summarize, a want ad is just an advertisement that someone puts in the paper if they want to maybe find someone that can come work for them, they have something to sell, or they want to announce something. All right. And in the US, we call it the classified section of the newspaper. It's usually in the back part of the newspaper. So on the front pages, they have the new breaking headlines, the new news stories. The classifieds are usually at the back of the newspaper. Okay, so the title of the lesson today is Amusing Want Ads. So there's no point talking about boring Honda Civics or uh, boring want ads. Let's see some amusing, unique ones. All right, here's the first one. Ah, and Leah Huda says, hello. Hi everyone and hello. Okay, so this is the first want ad for this lesson. All right, it says, surgeon wanted for a new health clinic opening in the area. Okay, good so far. No experience needed. Hmm, <laughs> must have own tools. Hmm. Well, one thing I should notice or I should mention about want ads before we get into this one is that it's very common for people to not use correct English. 
And the reason is that they only have a small section to write in. So if they tried to be grammatically correct, then they would have to pay more money because uh, to be grammatically correct would require more words, which means a larger ad, and then you have to pay the newspaper more money. So people use fragments, incomplete sentences, they throw out articles, they don't use correct grammar because that's not the point. People want to get get across the quickest information possible uh, to the people who might want to buy their stuff. Okay, so in this ad, Surgeon Wanted. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> For a new health clinic opening in the area. No experience needed. Now this is the part that jumps out at me, right? No experience needed. Hmm. And what is it? Oh, I gotta change the language on my keyboard one sec no experience needed well the problem is that it's for the position is a surgeon and I'm kind of sure there's you know there are different kinds of surgeons but I imagine they're all doctors and they you know look something like this so <laughs> if it's a position that is advertising for a surgeon and it says no experience necessary then we have a problem mm hmm so this is a want ad which is maybe amusing because it's advertising for a surgeon with no experience all right and you must have your own tools strange maybe someone's building a hospital out of their garage all right Leahuda says very relaxing music yes I like it Siri Su Parantana Sangnurak says, Hey, you are a cute and funny teacher. All right. The most in three three worlds. Three worlds. Hmm, interesting. All right. So as we're going, if you guys have questions in the comments, feel free to ask. All right, let's go to the next want ad. All right. So the title is Waitress Needed. Must be 18 years old with 20 years experience. Hmm. <laughs> Something doesn't quite sound right there. Apply in person, Carnation Restaurant. Okay, so the title of the restaurant is Carnation Restaurant. All right, so that is the business. And just in case you're curious, a carnation is, to my knowledge, a kind of flower. So let's take a quick look. What is a carnation? Uh, huh. I didn't know about condensed milk, but this is <laughs> this is what I think of when I think of a carnation. It's just a kind of flower, right? <clears throat> and they can come in different colors. So the restaurant is called Carnation Restaurant, which is kind of nice. All right. So they say they want a waitress. Right, so that would be a female server. All right, so it's not a waiter, it's a waitress, which is a female server. All right, Key in English says, hi, Michael. Hello, Key in English. Leah Huda says, a kind of decoration. Sure, a carnation could be a flower that decorates something. Sure. Okay, so the part that's interesting here is it says, must be 18 years old with 20 years experience hmm so when you show up maybe you're a female and you go to apply for the job and you say yeah I would like to work here and they say well are you 18 you're like yes I am and they're like do you have 20 years experience you're like it's impossible because I'm 18 there's no way I could have 20 years experience hmm so this is a real want ad that someone put in the classified section. So just a quick review. We're talking about want ads from the classified section of the newspaper, right? And uh, it's just like an advertisement when you want someone to buy something from you or you want to publish something. <laughs> Let's see, Dua Tume says weird. Yes, so it could be what's called a typo. Let's see, a typo is when you make uh, an error in your writing, right? 
So maybe they meant to say two years experience and suddenly they have an, a zero. Maybe the, the newspaper uh, got the information, but the person who put the information into the newspaper put a zero. I don't know. But anyone who see the, sees this might scratch their head and say that's kind of strange. All right, let's move on to the next one. Yes, Garden says that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all, but it's a little bit amusing, maybe interesting, unique. All right, here we go. Next one. Wanted. Okay, so this is a, a great example of a want ad, right? Looking for someone to do yard work. All right, so we have yard work. No problem. So if we're talking about yard work, let's just get a good visual so we can understand what we're talking about. Let's see, we'll put in yard work. Yard work is, you know, just cleaning up your lawn. Well, this is... <laughs> I guess this guy passed out mowing the lawn. Alright. So, so this lady is doing yard work. She is, I guess... Uh, taking care of her plants or maybe putting new flowers in something like that. So yard work can be cutting grass It could be uh, taking care of the lawn adding flowers trimming the trees the bushes stuff like that Okay, so let's go back here. So the want ad is for employment. It's an employment opportunity So looking for someone to do yard work Now is where it gets a little bit interesting must have hula hoop Hmm. Now, let's see. Do you guys know what is a hula hoop? And how does it relate to uh, to yard work? Hmm. Okay, so let's see. And first, once again, the correct, the correct sentence would be, you must have a hula hoop. But... Like I mentioned before, when we're doing the want ads, they try to be as short and sweet as possible with their messages, so they don't use correct English. So this is a, a the classifieds are a great place to see where people do not use correct English, because they want to be very efficient with their message and they want to tell the people exactly what they want. Okay, so I'm getting off track here. Let's take a look. What is a hula hoop? Hmm. So first, the position is for yard work, but they say you must have a hula hoop. And they even spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be like this, hula hoop. <laughs> so this is a hula hoop. It's like the plastic thing that you put around your body and you swing around, right? And you do something like this, right? That's a hula hoop. So, okay, we got what a hula hoop is. Maybe we'll copy that image. And we'll put it back here. So they say you have to have a hula hoop to do yard work. Hmm. And it seems kind of strange because it kind of looks like a serious ad because they put their phone number. Right? When you put your phone number, it looks like kind of a real one. Uh, when you put your phone number, you expect people to call, right? So looking for someone to do yard work must have hula hoop. Makes no sense, but that is a want ad that has appeared before. Okay, let's go to... Leah Huda says it's like a huge ring. Yes, it's like a huge ring and you put it around your waist and you can uh, swing it around and then it goes around. All right, let's see. Here is the next one. All right, they're selling something. We can see right away for sale. And someone highlighted it with the yellow highlighter because they thought it was interesting. Okay, Turkey. Hmm, Turkey. I don't think we're talking about the country here because I see the word eaten. Okay, here we go. Let's read it first. Turkey, for sale, partially eaten, <laughs> only eight days old, both drumsticks still intact, good to know, $23 OBO. And do you guys remember, what does OBO mean? If you see that in a classified want ad, it means or best offer. So they're asking for $23 here. But when you put OBO or best offer, the people know that you're not expecting to get $23. 
So someone might call, well, if they really wanted to buy this, and they would say, okay, I'll give you, you know, $10. I'll give you $12 or something that lower than that or the best offer. Okay, so that's not the interesting point about this one ad. <laughs> Leo Huda says, disgusting. Yes, it's kind of gross. All right, partially eaten. So turkey, when we're talking about a turkey, we're talking about something. Let me find my pictures. Something like a turkey dinner. Right? So we have the turkey. Right, something like this. Delicious. All right. So in the want ad, it says partially eaten. Hmm. So let's see what happens if we put in partially eaten turkey. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so someone is selling a partially eaten turkey. So partially means partly, right? S someone is selling part of the turkey that, you know, they already ate some. Sky Blue says hello from Turkey. <laughs> Interesting. So we have people from Turkey, and we're talking about a want ad where, the, where they are selling a turkey, but it's the bird. All right, so this is the turkey. And the want ad also says, both drumsticks still intact. I'm going to type that down here to see. So what does that mean? Both drumsticks still intact. Hmm. All right. So if something is intact, it's still connected, right? The pieces are still together. So if we go back to the picture... So both drumsticks. So let's take a look. First, what is a drumstick? And we'll do a turkey drumstick, right? Turkey drumstick. There it is. So this, these are drumsticks. It's just the leg, you know? Okay, so these are drumsticks. And in the, in the ad, it says drumsticks still intact. Right, so Leah Huda says the sticks are still attached to the turkey. Right, so I guess they wanted to put that information in the ad to try to get people to, you know, to buy it. <laughs> okay, so if you went to buy it, you would probably see something like this. All right, let's go back. So they are selling this. And here are the drumsticks, it's still intact, still attached, but, uh, yeah. So there are a whole bunch of health problems here, right? That it's dirty, it's messy, eight days old, hopefully they put it in the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Okay. So $23 or best offer, this turkey could be yours. All right, here we go. Let's go to the next one. Where are we? There we go. Okay, employment opportunities. So this want ad in the classified section of the newspaper is advertising employment opportunities. Let's see what it says. Tired of working for only $9.75 per hour? We offer profit sharing and flexible hours and benefits. Starting pay, $5 to $7 per hour. Call and then whatever number it is. Hmm... Can anyone see a problem with this ad? Hmm, maybe I'll wait for a moment, I'll take a drink, and you tell me what is the problem with this want ad? If someone looks at this, why are they going, hmm? All right, excuse me for a moment. Hmm, well, let's see. So first they're advertising in capital letters, right? Tired of working for only $9.75 per hour? And people are like, yeah, I wanna make more money, right? Well, we offer profit sharing, great, and flexible hours and benefits, wonderful. S staring pay, ah, and they spelled it wrong too. Hmm. Key in English says they offer lower wages. Leah Huda says instead of getting pay, he or she should pay to the company. <laughs> Kind of. Uh-huh. And August Vetova says, maybe I want to make less. Mm-hmm. And I just noticed there is another typo. There is a misspelled word. So we can say typo. Oop, typo. 
which is a misspelled word. And they put staring, staring pay, when it should be uh, starting pay. <laughs> Let's just say whoever put out this advertisement uh, was not very professional. August Vitova says, I am too tired of money. Pay me less. Right. Okay. And we have another idea in here, or a phrase is called profit sharing. Right, which uh, is you know more common, like we're fairly common these days, in at least in the U.S. I'm not sure about other countries. Uh, what they do is let's see if we can find a picture that shows profit sharing. Is that it's just kind of self-explanatory. They share some of the company's profits with each employee, right? So depending on probably your level of importance in the company, they will give you some of the profit that the company makes. And it's a great idea because if you have a good profit sharing plan, then uh, people will probably work harder because they know that they can earn more if they work harder and create more value for the company. The company does better, makes more sales, earns more money, and then they get more money in their pocket. All right. So um, profit sharing is an incentive plan for the workers, right? To incentivize, to get them to do something, get them to work harder to earn more money. All right. So, hmm, can anyone tell me what kind of job do you think this is? It doesn't actually say what the position is, right? What do you think is the position? So they offer flexible hours benefits, profit sharing, and a lower amount of pay. <laughs> ah, Key in English says the largest amount is called lion's share. Yes, that's right. Lion's share, the greatest portion. Ah, Leah Huda says waiter. Sure, that's possible. Um, how about, I don't know, maybe a salesperson? Whether it's a salesman or a salesman, a saleswoman, uh, some sort of sales associate, maybe. All right. I don't know, but it's probably fairly low qualifications for this kind. Yeah. <laughs> Leah Huda says security guard. I think that's a good possibility. We'll put that over here. Security guard. Uh huh. That is definitely a possibility. So it's not a position which with a high high expectations or it's necessary but you don't have to be really skilled to get this job right and you probably don't have to be really skilled to put this ad in the paper either okay so let's move on to the next one here we go let's see this one is interesting okay Ooh, a little more information wanted Somebody to go back in time with me. Ooh, they have my intent attention right away. Somebody to go back in time with me. Like in history? 100 years ago? 1000 years ago? Oh, good and good they tell us this is not a joke. And they give their address or their mailing address, PO Box 322 Oakview, California 93022. All right, so let's take a look. A P.O. box. In case you're not familiar, this is something that's very common in the U.S. It just means a post office box. All right, so let's take a look if we can find a picture for that. It's just a place that you use uh, to receive mail for you. So let's take a look. P.O. box. There you go. So it's in a post office and you have a key and every once in a while you go and pick up your mail right so it's kind of convenient so that the mail if it's difficult for them to deliver to your house or you don't want them to deliver to your house then you can use like a post office or a post office box but sometimes it doesn't work because companies won't usually send packages to post office boxes stuff like this <laughs> august ventova says real address not an email they're already in the past. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm not quite sure what the year is for the want ad. 
but uh, so this is a post office box, a P.O. box. So it's very common in the U.S. to see a P.O. box. Sometimes businesses use it when they only have correspondence, like letters and stuff. And uh, yeah, okay. So uh, here we go. You'll get paid after we get back. So remember, I need somebody to go back in time with me. You'll get paid after we get back. And how much? Hmm, they don't say. Must bring your own weapons. Ooh, now it's getting juicy. Safety not guaranteed. I have only done this once before. All right. So I, I just kind of imagine that <laughs> Key in English says, I want to be that person. Very interesting. You have to think that sometimes people have a good sense of humor, right? Maybe they do this stuff on purpose. So if we talk about a sense of humor, it just means that you are able to find humor in things, find things in a funny way, uh, and different people have different sense of humors, right? So one person might think this is funny, another person might think that's horrible. Another person thinks that's funny, but they think that's horrible. So a sense of humor is partial or depends on the person. <laughs> Leah Huda says, it's a conspiracy. Hmm. All right, somebody to go back in time. Remember, this is not a joke. They even give you the address, but it's just a P.O. box, so you probably can't go there to meet the person. But don't worry, you'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. Safety not guaranteed. I've only done this once before. I guess they need an assistant. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Aha. Uh -huh. Pig. What? Now, this is in going to be in the, what do they call it? They're not necessarily trying to sell anything, but they're trying to announce information to whoever's reading the newspaper, right? Sometimes they have a section like, uh, I don't know, where two, two people, they'd never met, but they looked at each other and they thought that they were good looking. So they'll put some sort of want ad like, hey, you, I saw you on the four o'clock train from New York and we looked at each other. I had long brown hair. So they try to kind of hook up with someone. But this one is an interesting one. OK, so it's titled Pig. I saw you at Tiki Bob's. <laughs> Let me, let, before I tell you, what do you think, can you guys tell me, what is Tiki Bob's? Hmm, let's look at the sentence, I saw you at Tiki Bob's. Does anybody have an idea, what is Tiki Bob's? Hmm, while you guys think about that, I will go on. You grabbed my butt, and I told you, if you did that again, I'd kill you. You did. I need your address now. Hmm. Vera Kalugina says hi everyone. Hello, hello. Leah Huda says this is a this is a threat. Uh huh. We need to call the police. Leah Huda says perhaps the name of something. Right. Tiki Bob's. So if we have the sentence, we're trying to figure out what is Tiki Bob's. First, we know it's a name, right? It has a capital letter, Tiki Bob's, and it's a two-part word. I saw you at. Hmm. Well, when you we use at, many times we use a location, right? Uh, at the library, at the mall, at McDonald's. How about at Tiki Bob's? <laughs> right, let's see. Let's see what I can find in a picture for a Tiki. Because I think Tiki is something kind of tropical. Tiki, Tiki Bar. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Tiki Bar. I'm not sure if it's from one of the islands in the South Pacific, like Tahiti or something, but a tiki bar is just this little thing right here. And they serve drinks, they serve alcoholic beverages, and they can be different sizes and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, here's a good example. Here's a tiki bar. All right, so let's copy that image. We'll bring it back with us. All right, so this is a tiki bar. Kind of makes you think that you're in a tropical place even though you're not, but yeah. Okay, so this is a Tiki bar. So Tiki Bob's is probably a bar with a uh, 
we move this over is a bar with a tropical theme all right so maybe they have some coconuts they have these uh palm fronds i think they're called from the palm leaves and stuff like that okay so something happened at tiki bobs so i saw you at tiki bobs you grabbed my butt Hmm. and i told you if you did that again i'd kill you you did so it says you did as in you did grab my butt again so now i need your address i need your address now hmm mm -hmm -hmm. let's see uh liahuda says bob is another name for bar uh not necessarily it's probably it's probably with an apostrophe but since she's just not focused on getting the name right, she probably didn't put the apostrophe. And we need the apostrophe to show possession. You know, who who does the establishment, who does the restaurant, who does the place belong to? So it probably belongs to Bob. So it's kind of like Bob's Tiki Bar, Tiki Bob's, possibly. I don't know, Tiki Bob's. I'm gonna imagine there's an owner there that is uh, named Bob. All right. So I'm going to, it's possible, likely, that the person doing this advertisement or this want ad was a female, right? And it's possible that a guy grabbed her butt and she didn't like it. And then she said, you know, if you do that again, I'll kill you. And then he did it again. So she put in the wanted ad saying, I need your address now. So, hmm. So, is the guy going to call the number and say, hey, hey, it was me, I grabbed your butt? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. And, oh, when the title is pig, we're not, we're making a reference to the animal, but it's a way to describe someone who is rude, vulgar, and they don't respect people, right? So it's very common to call men pigs in the situation or the context where the men are trying to take advantage of the women, right? Uh, or they do things that are inappropriate to the women. Maybe they make comments that are um, extra sexual or in a way that the woman doesn't want. And then you could say the man, he's, he's acting like a pig. So it's a, a negative reference to an animal, right? Even though it's, we're not actually talking about a pig. All right. Leah Huda says this is like insulting. Yes. So if you call someone a pig, then it's saying, you know, they are disrespectful, they're saying things wrong, they're, yeah. Okay. All right, so this all happened at Tiki Bob's. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the next one. All right, this one's a little bit longer, okay? So here we have two pictures. We have a little kitten and we have a guy. Hmm, wearing a hat and a coat and it might be a cold day. I don't know. Free to good home. Woo! People love free stuff. So it's, one of these are going to be free because it says or. All right. And there's lots of information here. Okay. Beautiful. Six MO. Six month old male kitten. Orange and caramel tabby, which is just a kind of a cat, a tabby cat. Playful, friendly, very affectionate, ideal, which means perfect for a family with kids. Mm-hmm. So that's one of your options. You can take the, the cat for free, or you can take the husband, the handsome 32-year-old husband. He's personable, which means he's easy to get along with. He's easy to talk to. He's funny. He has a good job, but he doesn't like cats. Hmm. He says, and the, I guess the husband says, he goes or the cat goes. Mm-hmm. Leahuda says characteristics of them both. Yes, that's right. So, uh, Jennifer is probably this guy's wife, and she put her phone number. Come see both and decide which you'd like. All right, so it looks like the husband has put up an ultimatum. Ultimatum. An ultimatum is, it's kind of like the end, uh, what's the word? Hmm, ultimatum. <laughs> When I won't take any more, you need to make a decision about something right now. All right, let's take a look. What is ultimatum? 
I bet they can explain it a little bit better. There you go. A final demand or statement of terms. All right. Ultimatum. 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 And the rejection of which will result in retaliation or a breakdown in relations. So the guy probably gave the woman an ultimatum and says, okay, the cat goes or I go. You better get rid of the cat or I'm going to divorce you or I'm leaving or something like that. <clears throat> Leah Huda says, like the maximum? Sure. It's kind of like your negotiations. And then you say, okay, my final offer is $5,000. That's my max. I won't, if you accept that or the, the negotiation is finished. So that's the ultimatum. It's like the point, like the peak of the mountain, the peak of the ne negotiations. All right, let me take a drink quick. <clears throat> okay, so uh, free to good home. Looks like the wife is the person who put the want ad in. And I imagine it's probably a joke, but maybe they did have an argument because she loves cats so much, but the guy doesn't. Okay, so if someone calls a number and they go there, the joke is that they can either have the cat or have the husband. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so we went through a few different want ads today. All right, okay. And I have a few more minutes, so I'm going to open it up. If anybody has a question or questions, I will answer and we can talk. If you have questions about the lesson or you have questions about something else, we can explore. So does anyone have any questions from the comments? I will try to answer. And I have a few minutes, so I will wait around if anybody has any questions. Feel free to type them in the comments and then I'm going to try to copy and paste and put them on my screen so that everybody can see them. Right. So let's see. We'll wait and see if there are any questions from people in the comments. Da, 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 da. Mm. <laughs> Leah Huda says, nice lesson. Great. Do you have any questions about the lesson, about English learning? All right. Here's my opportunity to try my new thing. Give me one second. Keen English has a question. And I'm going to try to put his question on my screen. If you just wait for one moment. Let's see. It might be a little bit big and distorted, but we'll give it a try. Okay. So here it is. In English says, what does free to good home mean? Ah, so it, what it means is, I'll put the equal sign. You can have one of these. And it was the cat or the husband. If, <clears throat> if you are a good person and can bring them to a good, responsible home environment. All right. So if you're like a psycho, <laughs> then uh, here, let me put it here. Free to good home. Free to good home. All right. So it means whoever comes, if they have a good uh, background, they're very nice, they have a good family environment, then they can have it. But if they're bad, maybe they live in jail, they live on the street, and they probably can't have the husband or the cat. That's what free to good home means. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully that answered your question, Key in English. Anybody else have more questions? Or if Key in, if you have more questions, I have some time to answer. If you want me to go back to a specific want ad, you can let me know. See, so say it, Amit Oran says, thank you so much for affect. I think maybe you mean effort, E-F-F-O-R-T, right? Right, so free to good home, that was, one second, was here, free to good home, right? So you can have either one for free if you're a good person and you come from a good environment. All right, so we have another question from Garden. Let me see if I can put the question up on the screen. 
Give me one second. Da, 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 da. The garden says pig is used about women. Uh, kind of, but it's, it's usually an insult towards a man. And it could be an insult towards a woman, but it's much more uncommon. So a pig is, we'll put equals, it's usually, usually a man who is vulgar and insults women. Uh, he says uh, things that are very inappropriate and may try to uh, touch them when they don't want it. All right. It's the kind of guy that you think of like in the movie, say, like, hey, baby, what's up? How you doing? You want to go home with me? Stuff like that. Or comments that are very inappropriate about that might talk about the woman's body or her body parts and stuff like that. So let's see if I answered the question. So Garden says pig is used about women. It involves women because they're in the situation, right? But a pig is usually uh, an insult towards a man. It's kind of, it's, yes, it is. I guess it's an insult, but it, it's sometimes it's the truth. Right? <laughs> there are some very uh, disrespectful men who don't treat women well, and they do things which you could call them a pig. Mm -hmm. See, uh, Key in English says, thanks for answering. You're welcome. All right. And let's see, let's go back to the one ad. The pig, oop, not that one. There it is, pig. So when she says pig here, she's probably talking about a guy. And specifically, it's the guy who grabbed her butt. So she's not the pig. The guy is the pig because he did uh, inappropriate behavior. And you could call it it's sexual harassment, right? He grabbed her in a sexual way which was against her will and she didn't want it. And he did it again. And when she said that I'd kill you, right, we don't know if she's serious, but it's like a threat. She was probably pretty pissed off because the guy grabbed her in a way that she did not like and she did not want. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so we've had two questions so far. From one from Key in English, another from Garden. All right, any other questions? And it can be about the lesson or not about the lesson. I'll leave it open because I have a few minutes. Aha! Uh -huh. Key in English says grab means touch. Let's see. Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. Right, it was in the article, right? Where it says grab. Mm -hmm. Right, you grabbed my butt. But grab is a little bit different than touch. Well, technically grab is a way that you could that you could touch someone but when you grab them you use force and you kind of pinch let's see if I can find a picture that shows grab all right let's do it so let's say grab the the bar I guess maybe there's a bar in like the train or something oh, I'm gonna put hand grabbing the bar okay so this is good. So grab means you're using force. You're squeezing, right? You're not just touching. Touching might just be with your finger, with your hand, gently, but grabbing is like, so you're grabbing something. So if someone grabs your butt, then it's, you know, you definitely know it's happening and you grab. It's, it's common to say, you know, uh, a mother grabbing her kid's arm, maybe to pull them back out of the street. Let's see, mother grabbing kid's arm well kinda on this one it would be the opposite we could say the kid has grab grabbed the mom's finger right but like leah huda says right hold something strongly with for with force right okay okay let's see keep the questions coming oh olga svetova says thanks for the lesson Thank you for attending and hanging out with Able Lingo. All right. Have a few more minutes if anyone has any other questions. Da -da 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 -da. Or comments about life in general. <laughs> da -da -da. 
Let's see. I'm thinking about getting into... Uh -huh. Uh huh. Leah Huda says, great. Wonderful. Okay. Well, see, I'll take a look in case I missed any questions. Feel free to ask. Right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the music in the background throughout the lesson. I tried to turn it down a little bit so it doesn't compete with my voice. Right. Okay, well, I don't see any other questions right now, which is fine. So I think I'm going to close it. And so today we covered amusing want ads. And let's just do a quick review what are want ads. In the US, in my country, you'll find want ads in the classified section of the newspaper, right? So the want ads are just advertisements. You want to sell something, you want to announce something, something like that. Okay, and sometimes they are a little bit amusing. They're unique or they're spelled wrong or something kind of looks uh, out of place. Okay, all right, so <laughs> Leah Huda says, keep the music, please. I like the music. I think it's very nice. All right, it's uh, relaxing and I think it's a good environment for, for learning. Okay, so... Today we did amusing want ads. It was a live English lesson. This was the first one. We'll see whether or not we do another one in the future. It's possible. All right, so our motto here at Abolingo is improve your English, become more valuable, right? Improve your skills, become a bigger person, able to do more things. And if you enjoyed this lesson and you enjoy our stuff here at Abolingo, feel free to subscribe. <gasps> Let's see the animation. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, right. And if you've already subscribed, there's that little bell button. And if you push it, then uh, you'll get notifications from YouTube whenever we have new stuff. Sounds great. Okay, so improve your English, become more valuable. Let me turn up the music and I will type a thank you in the comments and then I will be out of here. All right. Da-da-da!